welcome to Northeast South Korea. Hi, we're eastbound on Expressway 50 between exits 23 and 24. Just want to give you some idea of how pretty it looks. We've had some rain uh, starting uh, late last night and then uh, some this morning. Not particularly heavy, but I think it's done a nice job of uh, making everything look nice and green and I thought I would share the view with you. I'm driving here to my next destination and it's a very nice uh, early spring day here in uh, May 2008. Give you an idea what it's like uh, as I say driving Korean or wow did you see what that driver just did? I don't see quite those situations uh, here on these expressways at all. Matter of fact, uh, everybody seems to be pretty well behaved. Uh, literally, even with this heavily forested area, this part of uh, Korea and other parts in uh, the south of uh, Seoul are uh, just as heavily forested along the, the mountains and all. Uh, no roadkill. So I don't know what kind of little critters there are out there in the forest, but they don't seem to be coming down here to the road to get whacked by the cars as they do much in uh, American turnpikes. Also, uh, you won't see uh, much in the way of any uh, blown tires. I mean, normally you see shredded rubber all over the road. You know, have to dodge those tire remnants there along the side of the road. But it's all uh, pretty clean and straightforward. Uh, quite a bit different inside the cities. More congested, more cars, uh, more uh, crazy antics relative to uh, driving in Korea. Right now, when uh, you're cruising along at 100 kilometers an hour, you certainly can en enjoy the views here. Now, this part of the Expressway 50, uh, you can certainly uh, make the uh, make speed here, make good time. Uh, further west, closer to Expressway 1, is notorious uh, for uh, 20 to 30 kilometers for uh, bottlenecks, uh, bumper to bumper. Uh, you're lucky to go uh, 5 to 10. Uh, kilometers an hour on some stretches and that's uh, eastbound 50 and also westbound as I drove out here I was very lucky I did not run into that as far as the eastbound traffic on 50 but uh, certainly westbound was uh, there's a bit of a valley you can possibly make out through the guardrail there and we'll just film a little bit as we uh, go on up the hill here we've got climbing lanes haven't noticed, uh, and maybe it's not the season, and this being a uh, weekday afternoon, don't see much in the way of uh, RVs, recreational vehicles in uh, Korea. Not say they don't have them, I just haven't seen them, or maybe Koreans tend to do uh, other things. Something like an RV could be uh, pretty difficult to maintain, much less where do you park the suckers. Uh, most Koreans live in apartments, and wouldn't really have any place to uh, put their RV if they had one. As you approach this part of the countryside, you can catch these uh, bridges, the spans of them going over the highway. They're uh, rather pretty looking in the distance. No billboards, another thing I've noted, just uh, no billboards certainly get the scenic view. I'm sure in the fall this is probably absolutely gorgeous when the uh, leaves turn. Uh, this part of the uh, rugged countryside uh, is dotted with a number of resorts, obviously catering to the uh, skiing and snowboarding crowd. As a matter of fact, uh, my destination, oh there's a bridge we'll be passing over if you can catch that there. We're going to the Hyundai Songwoo Resort will be hosting the 2009 World Snowboarding Championships. I've got some separate videos of the resort area. Uh, there's not much going on right now. It's pretty deserted again midweek and maybe before the start of the summer tourist season. But uh, certainly has uh, the potential because of the size of the restaurants and the number of rooms and parking uh, that they'll certainly be able to accommodate the crowds. Uh, I'm sure they'll come out for a world championship snowboarding as well as having some great snow and everybody will have a good time there in that situation. 
underground underneath in the basement area they have a lot of indoor activities a bowling alley and uh, arcade games and so forth there's uh, also a, a swimming pool on site large swimming pool that you could enjoy so uh, all in all it's a very nice resort uh, uh, my business keeps me uh, cl closer to the city of Wanju uh, there is a downside there to uh, the resort surprisingly as wired as Korea is they do not have internet in your room and I find that most disconcerting and disconnected not to have an internet in my room wireless or wired well, there's a small refrigerator there's a sink and a stove two burner stove that supplies some pots and pans glasses plates and so forth I mean certainly you can move in there with your family sit on the floor because uh, it's one of the few rooms that has a bed. Most of the uh, rooms are equipped with the uh, Korean uh, futons. Uh, they're uh, mattresses. You know, you pull them out of the closet, lay them down on the floor, and sleep on the floor kind of thing. My back won't handle that. So I need a table and chair. Definitely need the internet connection. They do have uh, cable. Uh, they do have cable TV there. You can watch a lot of uh, Korean as well as a few Chinese programs, probably even Japanese as well. There were two, I think, English channels that they had. Got a rest stop coming up here on the right. So I think I've given you some idea of what you might expect uh, if you might be coming out here for the snowboarding. And uh, there's a pretty big building over there. I don't know what resort that might be. But uh, the one we're going to, uh, it kind of looks similar uh, up on the hillside right next to the mountain. Uh, I mean, literally, you walk out your back door and you're at the ski lift, so it's certainly very attractive. So come on out here to the Wanju area in this resort area and enjoy your uh, winter sports activities. I'm sure in the summer it's uh, really great to get up here in these mountains and uh, in the fall, watching the fall foliage, watching those dead tree leaves I did down in uh, New England, the United States, a number of years ago. So as I like to say, drive safe, take a navigator, and watch your six.